So today I'm going to talk about Brugger's disease, also known as thromboangiitis obliterans. I'm talking about Brugger's disease, not to be confused with Burger's disease, which is inflammation of the kidneys. So we know that tobacco can cause different cancers and tons of respiratory diseases, but you never hear about Burger's disease. My grandmother was diagnosed with this disease and I've done tons of research on it. Here's a picture of her condition actually. It may be graphic to some viewers. Bugger's disease is inflammation of the blood vessels, mainly in the hands and feet. Um, lots of the endings of your blood vessels are in your fingers and toes. Here's a picture of the tour you can see how the blood vessels are clumped together on your fingertips. Inflammation in clots can form, which causes blood constriction, which is lack of blood flow. Here's a picture of the Mayo Clinic so you can see the effects of Brugger's disease and the constriction in your blood vessels. This causes pain, tissue damage, and even tissue death. A little history on Brugger's disease. In 1879, Felix von Windwarder discovered it in Austria. But it wasn't until 1908 when Leo Burger gave its first pathological description in New York City. While causes of this disease are unknown, we do know that it's mainly in males between the ages of 20 and 40 overseas. It's actually not very common in the U.S. at all. It, only less than 1% of the U.S. population is diagnosed every year. The main risk factor is tobacco use followed by gum disease. Some symptoms may include pain, numbness, tingling, and a burning sensation, along with skin discoloration and cold hands and feet. With skin discoloration and cold hands and feet, it may be called or mistaken for Raynaud's phenomenon, which is a condition where certain parts of the body feel numb and, and cool in certain circumstances, which causes blood constriction, just like Berger's. You can be diagnosed with disease through blood tests, the Allen's test, which checks the blood flow, and an angiogram, which is an x-ray of blood vessels. While there is no treatment for the disease because the cause is still unknown, there are some interventions that will help the disease slow down and so you can avoid amputations. Even though this disease was discovered 100 years ago, not much is known about it. Quitting the use of tobacco is very important. Even though there is no cure for the disease, it will definitely slow it down. Some treatments could include use of meds to dilate the blood vessels, compression to help with blood flow, um, a surgical sympathectomy, which cuts the nerves of the affected area to reduce pain. You also may use func lose function of the area that the nerves are cut along with a therapeutic angiogenesis, which is a medication used to stimulate the growth of blood vessels. And if you have gangrene, which can be caused by an infection, which is known as death of tissue, it may have to, you may have to have an amputation. Sources of this video include actual hospital paperwork for my grandmother's diagnosis and the Mayo Clinic's website. I hope you learned something.